Hi, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect, and welcome to this tutorial about Blender 4.2 and the new add-ons management system, how you can manage, install, and remove your add-ons in Blender. If you make a direct comparison with Blender 4.1, uh, back in Blender 4.1, we had a pack of add-ons and themes that came by default uh, pre-installed in Blender. Now we don't have that anymore. You have to manually add all of your add-ons or most of your add-ons uh, into, into Blender. And one of the things uh, that you need to do uh, to manage those add-ons is to grant Blender internet access. If you take a look here on my lower right uh, corner of uh, the lower right corner of my screen, you will, you will see that I have a globe icon here with uh, a line. A crossing line this means i didn't give blender uh, internet access yet this might be a concern for a f uh, for a few people regarding privacy issues but blender do need to access the internet if you want to manage those add-ons first the location uh, that we use to manage those add-ons it's still the same if you go into edit preferences you will see that we have here the an add-ons tab and here i have my pre-installed add-ons. It's a really, really small list in, in comparison to Blender 4.1. Uh, I can't really install anything here uh, from the official repository that I will be showing you uh, in a few moments. But if you buy uh, an add-on, for instance, from Blender Market, from a Gamroad, you can install the file from here into this little button. You can install from disk. It will point to the zip file or the installation file of your add-on and it will add into, into Blender. Now, how can I install new add-ons from uh, in this list? You have to come here into this get extensions tab and you see that I have to grant internet access to Blender. If I press this button here, hello internet access, Blender now has internet access and it can uh, search and download or new add-ons. If you wanna, if you don't want to uh, give Blender full access at, of to the internet all the time, you can always disable that here into the system. Allow internet, allow online access. If I come back here into get extensions, it will ask me again to allow for internet access. Now, how can I install a new add-on? You can search for both add-ons and teams here. Let's search for an add-on. One of the add-ons that I use the most in most of my projects is the storage views. If I search here for storage, here it is, storage views. If I click into the install button, it will download from the repository and install the add-on. If I come here into my view tab on my sidebar, you see that I have now here the storage views. Now, one thing that uh, it's uh, a bit confusing in relation to managing add-ons, if you come here into the preferences, if I go into add-ons, you will see that we have the storage views here in the list, but I do not have an option here to remove the add-ons in case I don't want it anymore. You have to go into the get extensions and I have here the option for my installed add-ons from the repository. And if I don't want this add-on anymore, you can come here and uninstall the add-on and it will remove the add-on. So the get extensions tab, it's the location for install and to remove your add-ons. This is valid for teams too. If I search, if I list my existing teams in the team tab, you see that I just have two options. For instance, one uh, of the teams that I use the most for my books is the uh, print friendly. It's not available anymore here. By default, I have to go into get extensions, search for teams. And if I go into print, hit install, it will download from the repository. And here it is, the print friendly. team and this is how you manage your add-ons 
And what if you want to uh, take a look on the existing uh, teams and add-ons, if you want to look into the official repository uh, for Blender add-ons, let's take a look. And here it is. This is the official repository for Blender uh, add-ons and teams. It's extensions.blender.org. This is the location where you to, uh, where Blender will download all of your uh, add-ons and teams. And as you can see, one of the advantages of using this uh, uh, this uh, this website here is that you can browse and see more detail about each one of the add-ons. For instance, uh, if you want to use the boot tool. It doesn't have a preview here, but you can see a short description. Let's take a look on into another one like this camera plane. Some of them will feature demo images and even a few videos explaining how the add-on works. If I go into see all here, you see that we have a much bigger list. And you can take a look into what each one of those add-ons uh, does and if it can help you on your project. Uh, according to the Blender Foundation, this is not an op uh, this is not a way, for instance, to compete with the, with the Blender market. They won't uh, give you access, or they won't list here uh, premium add-ons or paid add-ons. The all everything that is here into the extensions.blender.org. It's uh, free and open source. So that's it. This is how you manage and work with add-ons now with uh, Blender 4.2. I hope you like that. And do not forget to subscribe and like this video if you found it useful. See you next time. Bye.